If the bee disappeared off the face of the earth, man would only have four years left to live, said Albert Einstein. But how? Beekeeping plays a crucial role in both the environment and the economy due to its impact on pollination, biodiversity and agriculture. Today, we will meet a chain maker who is harnessing the power of this lesser known profession or should I say art to improve the lives and livelihood of many. Let's welcome Bharat Waj, the founder of Bee Tribes. Welcome Bharat. So Bharat, I would like to begin with, you know, trying to understand this. Why are bees so crucial for the environment? Why their absence could be so catastrophic? The statement from the Einstein is based on the fact and the recent studies. Uh, that is more than 75% of food crops depend on cross-pollination, depends on insects, especially bees. So currently one third of our global food production is because of the cross-pollination done by the bees. So if we lose the bees, then we are going to lose the food productivity done by the bees. So this is the basic one. And even in the last year, World Bee uh, Celebration Day, uh, the Deputy Secretary General of United Nations stated that beekeeping and bees are the key for us to end global hunger and global poverty. So that much importance bees are having in our food security. Now let's try to understand the entire ecosystem that uh, you know uh, revolves around bees. How do they help in you know uh, agriculture or you know keeping the environment intact? So how does it uh, all go about? There are two genders in flowers: for male flower and female flower. The pollen from the male flower has to go inside the female flower. It it usually happens naturally. We call it. Uh, natural pollination or self-pollination and the second category is cross-pollination for the cross-pollination process to happen though the flowers need external support in terms of animals insects even sometimes humans so, but the majority of the cross-pollination is done by the insects and particularly bees not only honey bees there are 20,000 different species of bees available in our world, uh, solitary bees, honey bees, family bees and so many different species and genre of bees are available. Uh, in India particularly, we are having, we are rearing uh, five different species of bees uh, and uh, in North India, we are having Apis mellifera variety of bees and in South India, beekeepers are doing Indian bees like uh, uh, Epis Sarana Indica variety. So Bharat in India, how big is this uh, market? Uh, we are having a separate body under the Ministry of Agriculture called National Bee Board and we are uh, currently one of the largest exporters of honey to the world market. So uh, do you think that this market is developing and this culture of you know honeybee cultivation and you know all the products that, that are derived out of uh, all this is it expanding where, where do we stand today in terms of growth the market is expanding and the capitalization of market with the help of government support is also growing uh, government is having so many schemes supporting beekeeping uh, there are some certain schemes which gives up to 50 percentage subsidy uh, in bank loans and certain schemes which gives up to 5 crore investment with 60 percentage uh, uh, subsidy. For example, if a farmer take a uh, loan of 5 crores, he can able to get a subsidy of 3 crores. So Bharat, I believe uh, there are some very good prospects in this particular uh, field. So uh, do you suggest farmers who are not into beekeeping, they can also adopt this and you know and could make this as additional source of income uh, while doing their regular farming uh, definitely farmers should do beekeeping not only as a part of considering this as an additional income of source they should start beekeeping to increase the productivity in their farm field so in the madhukranti website and the national bee board website there is a uh, column 
come back they have published so many results based on the researchers how many how much productivity is in getting increased in each crop for example if you say if you take sunflower there will be an increase in productivity from 20 percentage to 3200 percentage uh, not because of increase in uh, water source or because of increase in fertilizer and pesticide usage by simply doing beekeeping they can able to produce more productivity from 20 to 3200 percentage so the honey is a secondary source of income i would i would suggest the farmers to start beekeeping just to increase the productivity in their farmland so can you throw some more light on this particular fact that just by beekeeping the production increases phenomenally how does that happen so that happens because of increase in cross pollination in the crops so if we take 30 to 40 years before uh, there are more natural colonies available in our farmland because of extensive use of pesticides and all those things the natural colonies and the natural habitat getting destroyed the bees that there is a there was a decline in uh, natural population of the bees but currently we are doing uh, beekeeping that is the reintroduction of bees into the uh, agricultural fields because of this the pollination services is getting restored in the farmlands. So the transfer of pollen from the male flowers to the female flowers, uh, because of the visit of bees to collect honey and pollen into the flowers. So bees usually visit lakhs of flowers in a single day. So because of this visit, the transfer of pollen happens and the productivity got improved. Having a beehive can also impact very, very positively. That's a very good news to me and sounds really wonderful. Now, can you uh, take us through that in entire journey? If a farmer has to introduce beekeeping in his uh, land or somewhere around that, how can he do that? First of all, I will suggest to him to take a beekeeping training course in any of the agricultural university near their uh, locality. So, minimum I have to train for at least a week. And they have to take guidance from the agricultural university where they can find and buy quality bee boxes. Then they can start their own beekeeping with minimum amount of boxes, let's say 5 to 10 boxes. They should start with. And they should learn the art of breeding the beekeeping boxes. And they can breed the boxes by their own and they can increase the number of beekeeping boxes in their farm field. They don't have to need or depend anyone else to supply continuously the bee boxes or bee colonies. They can breed their own colonies with minimum amount of training. And this beekeeping doesn't demand so much skill set. So what all as a farmer would I need uh, at my farmland to be able to start this? Uh, first of all, uh, I don't have any single set of land till now. So I am doing beekeeping in my neighbor farms and I found some of the farms uh, and like my friend farms and all those things. So, but technically you don't need own land to start beekeeping. But if you have your own land, then you should start beekeeping, doing beekeeping. Because the, beekeep, the bees are going to explode your production within one or two years. The resources and the additional resources are, the farm land should be sputtered and it should have some floral sources so that the colony, the bee colony uh, will get uh, ample resources for their necessary survival and ample honey production will be there. Okay, that sounds really wonderful. When By doing this beekeeping, one can not only increase the productivity but also get additional income. So it seems like an answer to all the farmer issues we are having all across the country. We are grappling with you know issues like the low income and uh, all the vagaries of nature and weather harming and marring the uh, cultivation all across. So uh, all those could be you know taken care of by you know this additional support of income uh, from the beekeeping. That sounds really great to me. So uh, Bharat, uh, in your experience. Have you seen lives getting changed because of this particular phenomena when a farmer turns a beekeeper as well and changes life? Uh, first one is uh, coconut farmer. I started my own beekeeping in that particular farm. Uh, that farm 
farmer was harvesting roughly 30 to 35,000 coconuts per year. So, after doing beekeeping for 16 to 17 months, uh, in that period, he harvested almost 140,000 coconuts. So, this much amount of almost 300 product percentage of increase in productivity without giving any additional fertilizer or uh, manure. In the same way, I introduced beekeeping, a farmer started beekeeping with our support and guidance. We introduced the beekeeping boxes. We supported them in training and installing the boxes. And after doing beekeeping for six months, uh, almost 28 over trees broken got, uh, over tree branches got broken because of the increase in weight and size and number of goas getting produced. And he was able to produce 2000 coconuts in his farmland with only just 18 coconut trees. So he came across a bumper harvest after this. That's great. Yes, so, the harvest got multiple times. He can't be able to market his produce. That was another uh, bottleneck in agriculture. That's a wonderful bottleneck to have. That's a wonderful problem to have. I would say, you know, it's such increased productivity. So, Bharat, now let's talk about the product which comes out of beekeeping. So, you get five products. First one, we all know that. First product is honey. And second product we will get is pollen. Uh, bees visit the flowers to collect two things. First one is nectar and another one is pollen. Uh, nectar is getting converted into honey and stored in the hive. Pollen also they collect and they will, they will store in the hive. So they mix the both pollen and honey to make a pollen bread which will be given as a food for the larva and the, all the honey and all the bees inside the hive. And the third product we can harvest is the bees wax which has excellent medical medicinal properties related to skin, which has a huge demand in cosmetics market. And the fourth one is royal jelly. Uh, we can harvest in grams from a hive, but the extra, extraordinary medicinal benefits, because of the extraordinary medicinal benefits of royal jelly, that's a huge demand in the market. Uh, the value of the royal jelly is roughly one to two lakhs per kg. And the final one is bee venom. We can able to harvest the bee venom uh, by having a bee venom harvester in, inside the hive. Uh, it has excellent medicinal properties and some of the research is showing uh, we can do uh, that bee venom can be used for preventive cancer treatments. So we've all known honey for its taste and you know uh, adding all those kind of different kind of honey in food stuff. But you uh, repeatedly mentioned about medicinal values. So can you highlight some of the medicinal values that honey brings to us? Using all the five products, uh, we will call it apitherapy. There is a separate term called apitherapy. Uh, in, in that apitherapy, all the combination of all the five products will be given to the particular uh, patient or a particular human being. So in that for apitherapy, there is a separate treatment called bee venom therapy. Uh, if a person is having back pain or joint pains, he will be uh, advised to take bee venom therapy, where he will be scheduled to take bee venom therapy for 8 or 10 weeks. He will be introduced to get, he will be sting, getting sting by the bees. Uh, for that single sting of bee, uh, in US and China, they are charging almost 20 to 30 dollars. Even in Kerala, uh, to get a single bee sting, we have to pay 20, 200 to 400 rupees. So, that much amount of medicinal value the bee venom is having. So, wonderful to hear all that, uh, Bharat. So, uh, how has been your journey into this field? Uh, Bharat, tell us something about that. So, uh, my background, I am a mechanical engineer. I graduated in 2019 and after that I started preparing for my UPSC exams and during that UPSC journey I started beekeeping as a hobby so that I can explain my purposeful hobby in my personal details. Uh, so th that's how I started beekeeping but after seeing the impact that I made in the farmer's life, uh, I, I, I started to think this is my life purpose. So I have to help the farmers to set up their own bee and starting to 
give free training to the farmers and and giving bee beekeeping boxes to the farmers who are asking me to set their farm. So now you have turned beekeeping into a passion, and you know you are dispensing knowledge and information to people about this and the benefits of beekeeping. So how far have you succeeded in that? What has been the impact of this journey of yours when you are you know interacting with people and spreading this knowledge? Uh, my mission is to take this beekeeping to at least a million farmer and students. So far, I have conducted training to almost two thousand farmers and students. And more than 50 farmers started beekeeping after getting training and we are supporting them uh, through our uh, video calls and all those things and most of the farmers are doing successful. And I will always ask the farmers to start beekeeping not to produce so much honey. Start beekeeping so that you will get productivity increase your farm. That is the main purpose of start starting beekeeping. So, uh, because of the supply of uh, floral sources and nectar will fluctuate from season to season. So, in winter season, the nectar source will be limited so that we will not harvest as much as honey during summer season. So, some farmers after starting beekeeping in terms of honey production, they will be getting little disappointments. but when a farmer starts beekeeping to increase the productivity, he will be getting so much benefits. Definitely, I can see yeah, there are like multiple uh, areas where you know the benefit comes to a farmer or a person. Uh, it's agricultural product productivity increases via pollination, and then of course the revenue that comes from selling honey and other uh, products also is there, and medicinal values, and I think the list goes on and on. So this is wonderful, uh, Bharat, you have introduced us to a wonderful topic and a wonderful area which I think hitherto not many people would have you know, uh, paid much heed to. So you are spreading this awareness about uh, beekeeping, this is wonderful and you have succeeded in your mission to some extent and we hope and we will pray that this reaches, this message of your reaches many many people and we become you know, a force to reckon with in terms of beekeeping industry. Thank you so much for all the effort that you are putting in uh, Bharat and we wish you all the best and let's hope that uh, we become the beekeepers of the world and wish you all the best. Thank you sir. Thank you for the opportunity. Sustainable beekeeping practices are essential to ensure the continued benefits that bees provide to ecosystems and human societies. Let's take a pledge to spread this message and do our bit for environmental conservation. Goodbye.